Now, this is I have a cervical vertebra in my hand, and you can see specifically the transverse processes are very short, and you can see foramina within it. These are called as foramen transverse orium because the foramen is situated within the transverse process. And this is a striking feature for identification of any cervical vertebrae. All the cervical vertebrae they are having this foramen transverse orium, right? Now, if you see the body of a cervical vertebrae, it is small as compared to the vertebral foramen, right? It is almost oval, horizontally oval, and they are having uncle processes on either side. Okay, these elevations are called as uncle processes, right? And they form uncle vertebral joint with the corresponding body. Now, the spine is short okay direct a little bit downward and they are bifid right this is how the three features to identify any cervical vertebrae now these three features are common for c3 to c6 vertebrae they are called as typical cervical vertebrae but in, ad in addition to it the c1 c2 and c7 they have got some specific additional features so let us identify them now this one is first cervical vertebrae or c1 it is also called as atlas now you can see over here it is a ring like bone and still there are foramen transverse orium. so with that you can identify it as a cervical vertebrae now if a vertebrae with the foramen transverse orium but devoid of body devoid of spine and if it looks like a ring okay this will be the first cervical vertebrae or atlas right the foramen transverse orium they are larger than the typical cervical vertebrae you can see over here overall size of the atlas is large and how to identify the superior and inferior side of the atlas the anterior arch is smaller the posterior arch is long and curved right the superior articular facets are elliptical you can see over here and they are converging anteriorly whereas the inferior articular facets are flat and almost circular okay so this will be the anterior aspect this will be the posterior aspect with the large posterior arch the elliptical articular facets will be facing upward and the flat rounded articular facet will be facing downward so this is how you should hold the atlas regarding axis or second cervical vertebrae with that bony prominence or odontoid process or the dance you can identify it right again there are foramen transverse oria so it is a cervical vertebrae with overhanging large flat superior articular facet so this is second cervical vertebrae or the axis very easy to identify it right and regarding identification of the seven cervical vertebrae again you will be able to identify it with the foramen transverse oria within the transverse process and again there are uncle processes vertebral foramen is large and triangular and the most striking feature is the spine it is very large horizontal right and it bears a tubercle at the tip okay just compare the size of the spine of a typical cervical vertebrae and the C7 right so this is how you will able to identify the cervical vertebrae